The husband of the Iranian detainee Nazanin Zaghari Radcliffe is into his 18th day of a hunger strike outside the Foreign Office. Richard Radcliffe wants to put pressure on the Prime Minister to meet Iranian delegates at the climate conference this week to demand freedom for Britons detained in Iran. But there are now concerns over his well-being. Peter Henley has more. Even though she's not been well herself, Barbara Ratcliffe has been determined to keep making the trip up from Hampshire to support her son on his hunger strike. Apart from anything else, I'm going up every day to check my boy. On the train, she shows me the WhatsApp messages the family send to keep spirits up, including Nazanin in Iran. Mainly our conversation is about Gabriella, and it's heartbreaking watching her on WhatsApp watching us bringing up her little girl. You know, and, and there's nothing we can do about it. Nazanin was arrested at Tehran airport five years ago, taking then baby Gabriella to see her parents for the first time. She totally denied the charges of conspiring against the Iranian state. And after serving a five-year jail term, has been stopped from leaving with new threats to lock her up again. Yeah. Are you yeah. OK? Yeah. Richard Ratcliffe's hunger strike outside the doors of the Foreign Office is now entering its 18th day. He was visited by the Labour leader Keir Starmer this week. It's acknowledged the British government owes the Iranians £400 million over a cancelled arms deal. And Barbara Ratcliffe knows which politician she wants to tackle over that. The, the one you really want is Boris Johnson? Yes. When I see him, I will be speaking to him. Firmly? I hope I will have the courage to do that, yes. I've spoken to him twice in a nice, polite way. But this time, I won't be rude, but I think I'm going to ask him why he can't pay the money. The camp has become so well established, they even receive parcels. But not food. This is a hunger strike as Richard's brother-in-law, a GP, reminds us. We're keeping as close an eye on him as we possibly can, yeah, but yeah. It's, yeah, it, it's, it's full on, it's very busy here, it's, it's, it's difficult, um, and all that we have at our disposal is you know, checking in with him, talking to him, making sure he's as well as he can be under the circumstances. He is determined, isn't he? He's a very, very determined um, person. Yeah. So how much further can he stick this out? An Iranian delegation visits the Foreign Office on Thursday. You get more stubborn. So the longer it goes on, you're less able to make that decision. Um, so it's not... Yeah. I think we've got a danger point beyond which we don't want to go. Um, we're now into the sort of the uncertainty point where you know, it's definitely damaging, but it's hopefully not permanently damaging. You want to see the Iranians, don't you, when they come Thursday? I want to be here on Thursday, yeah. Um, yeah, just, you know, let them know I'm not, I'm not backing down. Peter Henley, BBC News.